All right, Democrats desperate to prevent a conservative confirmation that could change the Supreme Court for years to come, doing really everything they could yesterday to derail Judge Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation hearing. So what impact would a justice Kavanaugh have on the court? Here to discuss is Chief Counsel for the Judicial Crisis Network, Carrie Severino. Thank you for your time this morning. As you, you heard uh, Brett Kavanaugh say yesterday, he's a pro-law judge. What do you think we can expect? Well, I think we can expect what we've seen the last dozen years on the D.C. Circuit, which is Kavanaugh is someone who will look at each case, hear the arguments fairly on both sides, and then apply the law with politics out of the picture. He, he actually takes his, his non-political stance as a judge so seriously that since joining the federal bench, he said, I'm not going to vote in presidential elections anymore. I don't want to feel like I am part of one team or the other. That's why you've got so much respect from him from the left, from people like um, this rock star Supreme Court advocate, Lisa Blatt, who was there, one of the people to introduce him yesterday. She's a liberal feminist, but she says he's the best I can imagine any Republican president nominating. And it's because he's fair and he's known in the legal community for that. You know, you hear Democrats like Dick Durbin screaming about these documents that are being withheld, even though there's been 400,000 something documents released, which is more than the last three Supreme Court nominees combined. combined. Uh, and then you've got uh, we, we heard last night from uh, Senator Ben Sass, who's usually pretty pragmatic about this, and he says basically what's happening is that the Democrats are trying to ask for documents that they know can't be released because they came from the George W. Bush administration so that they can create this idea that there's something being withheld, that we're having the wool pulled over our eyes. Uh, is, is that what you take of it? Yeah, it's a very cynical move. They they went. They didn't even just say let's have all the White House counsel documents. That's what we had from from Elena Kagan when she was nominated, uh, and, and the Grassley said yes. They wanted more. They wanted his staff secretary documents, even a non non loyal lawyer position, and that would not have even made them happy. They wanted every document that mentioned his name that had going going around with the administration. They don't really want want answers here. If you know, they already have a half million documents. Another half million would not have helped them. He's guilty until proven innocent. I would say what are they trying to hide? They're trying to block this whole hearing because they know that Judge Kavanaugh is so balanced, so reasonable. When you get to hear him, the American people are going to realize this is someone who should be our next Supreme Court justice. If we can take a look at the major cases that Kavanaugh could affect, and we've got a couple of them for you here. That includes surveilling Americans. That includes the future of Roe v. Wade, which has been a big topic of conversation. Second Amendment issues and oversee the intelligence community. Of these that we have listed, just as some that he could affect, what do you see as the most important important. Well, they're all incredibly important issues, and I think what's what's great to know is we don't really know exactly how he would go, he would uh, rule on these cases going in because he is the kind of judge who's not going to predetermine a case. He's not going to go in there and say, "Well, I'm here because I'm hoping to get this result." Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to depend in each of them on the actual arguments being made uh, before them. And uh, you know, you, you you forget you might think you know what it, what a case is about, but when you hear literally thousands of pages of briefing on both sides, uh, you you get a much fuller understanding. So he's going to be have a lot of people saying today. Mm -hmm. What are you going to vote? How are you going to vote on this case or the other? He can't do that. It's not ethical as a judge. And that's the right answer, because we want him to have an open mind. He told Susan Collins, uh, Senator, that, that he said Roe v. Wade was settled law. Do you believe that, that he could have an impact on that, or will they just leave that be? Well, I, I really think he's not the vote to look at on that. I think Chief Justice Roberts is likely um, the person who you would, he would have to look to. But look, most of what the discussion of Roe versus Wade we're seeing are really scare tactics. They're Democrats trying to peel off Collins and Murkowski, who they see as yeah. as someone who, because they're sympathetic to, to, to that case line, this is someone who's going to he's going to sit on a huge range of cases. That's not really something that's likely to come back up as a question as much as so many of these other issues that you mentioned. Yeah. Thank you for right. your time this Carrie, morning. Carrie, thank you so much. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thanks.